Today, call for next day window treatments too. Were these two drivers hit by the same man? Next Judge Judy. Aiden Quinn and Rachel Griffiths in Hallmark Hall of Fame's Plain Song, CBS April 25th. You're not working at Metro. Why not? You're going to be working at the clinic. Look, Allie, I appreciate what you did. You know, running out and finding another job after you lost your job here. No, I didn't lose my job here. Your ex-girlfriend over there, <laughs> she had it in for me. <laughs> she was never my girlfriend. Well, you tell her that. <sighs> Look, Allie, I just turned the woman in, okay? If she thinks that she still has any traction with me, then she's dumber than she looks. Okay? Now you got your job back, everything's fine. Yeah, but you still lost all of that money on the condo. And it's not fair that you're getting all these extra hours at the clinic and I'm just sitting around. Allie, you're not just sitting around, okay? You're working full time at the hospital. And besides, I don't mind working at the clinic because it's good training. Okay, well, while you're working at the clinic, I could be making at least a couple extra hundred dollars at Metro. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Am I missing something here? Is there some reason that you don't want me working at Metro? Yes, there is. Lily, where are you? You should have been home from Chicago hours ago. For those of you who've just joined us, it's open mic night at the Windy City Cafe, and we have a lovely young lady who can't wait to entertain you. Hold on. <laughs> uh, Jordan Sinclair, this is Bob Hughes. Uh, my Aunt Kim's husband. Nice oh, Dad, it's official. You're finally Kim's husband. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. I, I meant because of... It's all right, Jennifer. Uh, Uncle Bob is head of the hospital, and uh, but it was Kim's party, so I just... Except she got called away on business last minute and feels terrible. She can't even welcome her guest of honor. So, uh, Molly is officiating. She's our anchor woman. Uh, sorry, person. <laughs> Am I blowing this? <laughs> no, you're doing fine. I'm Margo Hughes. Right. I'm Kim's husband's daughter-in-law. Uh, making me Kim's <laughs> husband's son. I'm Tom. Sorry, I, Uncle Bob. I said it's all right, Jennifer, but one of these days you may be coming into my ER. Ooh. Oh. Jordan, as you can see, the Hughes family is a very special family. <laughs> well, anyone who's a fan of Coleman Reese is okay by me. Well, are you a football fan? Who isn't? How did Kim convince him to come to WOAK? She didn't. Well, I know she's expressed interest, you being that he's a well-known sportscaster and a football hero. But this is a small station, and I'm not quite sure there's the uh, incentive that he's used to. Well, then it's going to be our job to persuade him. Great. Let's go get the cold beer. See why I married her? <laughs> <laughs> So you're not a Doc Reese fan? No, he's a good sportscaster. If you like arrogant ex-jocks, but then a lot of people do. And it's not just that you don't want to share airtime with a living legend. Bob, whatever brings more eyeballs to the station is fine by me. But you know what? The guy is an hour late, didn't bother to call me, and I know Kim asked him to because I heard her leaving the message. Well, maybe his flight was delayed. No, no, no. no. He checked into the hotel early this afternoon. Well, he might have a reasonable explanation. How much do you know about this guy? Well, I watched him play for years. I mean, he's a defensive legend. I mean, ten winning seasons of football, two championships. I'm talking off the field. Other than sports casting, not much. Well, I did a little research on our Coleman Doc Reese, and let me tell you. Actually, why don't you tell me? Coleman Reese. And I have to tell you, there's nothing I enjoy more than hearing these outrageous stories about myself. Especially when they're true. You want me to take the job at BRO? Yes, I do. Uh, if that's what you want. Of course I want it. I, I just didn't want to do anything that would hurt you. It's... I know. I know, and that means so much to me that you care about me that oh, way. Yeah. That you would be willing to sacrifice Oh, I me love you. I love you, too. I love you so much. Believe me, this is just, this is going to be the best thing for both of us.
I like experimenting with my hair color. Dirty blonde, sandy blonde, corn silk blonde. It's a lot of damage to my hair. I love Pantene Color Revival. The pro vitamin formula helps save my hair. It's very silky and shiny. And I know that it's strong because I can continue to color it over and over again without risking so much breakage. Pantene Color Revival. Strong hair on the inside, beautiful hair on the outside. My hair is always ready for its close-up. Let's go! This is how Paris does white. This is how Milan does white. And this is how Crest does white. Introducing Crest Vivid White Toothpaste. It polishes, lifts, and helps protect against stains. In just 14 days, you can have a noticeably whiter smile. It's the white you'll wear year-round. New Crest Vivid White Toothpaste. You just learn to walk. Everything that moves is a potential new friend to play with. That's why there's new Pampers Cruisers. They help make for a waddle-free fit and have less bulk between the legs than Huggies Ultra Trim. You can have fun with your new friends without having to waddle like them. New Pampers Cruisers. Inspired by babies. Created by Pampers. Did you know there are five fresh ways to get the power and strength of Mr. Clean? To clean your whole home to a shine. If it's a tough stain, just blot with a sponge, rub with your thumbs, then take the toothbrush and work it in a counterclockwise motion. Really work it in. You've got muscles. Use them. Or free treat with new Tide Stain Brush. It's rotating bristles of gentle on fabrics, tough on stains. It's the easy way out. Great news. St. Joseph Aspirin, that little orange pill you remember, can significantly reduce your risk of a heart attack. And not only is 81 milligram the dosage doctors recommend most for daily cardiotherapy, it's the only kind we make. Because we believe in doing one thing and doing it well. Heart health. Not back aches or headaches, body aches or muscle aches. Just heart health. Baby your heart with St. Joseph. Tonight, Dave's all new with Billy Crystal. He's got no FIBA man. Plus, how about this? How about baseball? New York Yankees star Alex Rodriguez. Don't miss it tonight. Fifteen years later, what's life like for the Central Park jogger? Tomorrow on The Early Show. Grab a chair, get yourself a drink, and the next singer will be on in just a minute. Hold it. Where are you? I was getting worried. I'm fine. Um, th that meeting just took a lot longer than I expected. And I actually got some more leads on some people to contribute to Rose's Foundation, so I, I really should follow up on that. I, I just got delayed. I'm sorry. Did you pick up the check for the foundation? Yes, I did, and it took longer than I thought, and I should have called. I apologize. Well, did they feed you at least? Put your hands together for Miss Violet Palmer. I, uh, it's just a bad connection. I, I, I gotta go. You hear that applause? Uh, give me a purse. What? No, 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 you know what? I can't do this. No, I'll put it behind the bar. It'll be safe. I don't know, but you understand, I, I, I really, I just gotta go. Honey, the set's not gonna last more than 15 minutes. I thought you wanted to sing. I do, but I really, I really gotta, I just gotta go. Violet, life is short. You don't get that many shots. I know. I'm sorry. I gotta go. McKinnon. W-O-A-K star anchor. You know, what I can't figure out is why such a pretty lady would have it in for me before we'd even met. I was just wondering where you were, Mr. Reese, and why you didn't bother to call. By all means, call me Doc. Everyone <laughs> does. And I couldn't be happier to be here. Uh, Doc, I'm uh, Bob Hughes. Ah, Kim's husband. <laughs> that seems to be the theme of the evening. Bob is chief of staff at Oakdale Memorial Hospital. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, Kim was telling me about the terrific orthopedic unit. Yes, we're very fortunate. Listen, I, I can't tell you how honored I am to meet you. Oh, I can tell you. Uh, this is my <laughs> son, Tom. You have given me more sheer joy than any one man should ever expect. <laughs> oh, you better not let your wife hear that, Tom. Uh, it's, it's all right. She's a fan. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, whoa, where are you going? Uh, I'll be right back. Come back. Is he here, Doc Grease? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen him yet, but he's probably over in that crowd. Uh, okay, we'll find him. Okay, we'll find okay. him. That's him. He's here. <laughs> I've never seen Curtis so excited. Yeah, well, you know, when he first came to live with me, football was how I got through to him. In fact, we saw Doc Reese's last season together. Mm. Well, why don't you go on over and say hello to the man? Yeah, I, I will. I will after I make sure my wife is okay. <laughs> I'm fine. No, you're not. You're still upset because Bonnie and Sarah moved to Florida. In fact, you didn't even want to come out tonight except the men in the family insisted. Well, the men in the family were absolutely right. Mm. I needed to... Dress up and get out and, you know, not think about things. We're not going to stay long, okay? Okay, okay, right. go, go. Right. I'll be fine. You never heard of Dr. Death? Mm -hmm. That man is hands down the most amazing linebacker in the history of the game. What's a linebacker? <laughs> Doc was the uh, captain of the defense. If the quarterback is in charge of the offense, he's... Uh, Okay, your eyes are glazing over. <laughs> Sorry. It's never much of a jock. Well, you've been blessed with other talents. Right. Well, since football clearly is not my game, let's talk shop. I loved his suit, his tie, his jacket, everything. You did? Uh, Jennifer, something happened today. Um, well, I guess you're going to find out about it. Anyway, and since it's going to affect you... What are you talking about? Your mother hired Carly Tenney to help her design the new collection. How can me working at BRO be the best thing for both of us? Um... It's just that, um... You're gonna be able to use all of these terrific designs that you've created. Ooh. That is, if Barbara's offer is legitimate, which I really hope it is. I really hope she's not manipulating me because I'll kill her. These are beautiful. I'm checking the offer, Rosanna. I won't go anywhere near that place without a lawyer and an ironclad contract. Good. Believe oh, good. me. But good. Well, it sounds like you have it under control, then. I like, I like this. Except that I'd still be working with Paul, you know. I wouldn't be able to avoid him entirely. And you've made it clear that any contact I have with him would be like stabbing you in the back. You even threatened to cut me out of your life. I know. And would I prefer it if Paul moved to Bangkok or Paris or Lucerne? Yes, I would. But life isn't perfect. We all know that. And I suppose you could say that I have had a change of heart. About the man you hold responsible for losing Cabot. I'm never going to be able to forgive Paul or Craig for what they did. They cost me the one thing that mattered to me in my life. I'm sorry, I just don't understand. What's changed? Uh, me, me. I've changed. I've moved on. I'm, I'm, I'm no longer paralyzed by grief because I have a plan. I have a plan to fix things, to make sure that in the future, I never lose what's most important to me. And me working at BRO? Oh, damn it, Rosanna, that's not fair. What? What, what, what isn't fair? Using me to get back at Paul. Well, I'm not using you to get back at Paul. Then why is it the best thing for both of us for me to work at BRO? And what's this plan you've got? of adults with high cholesterol, diet and exercise aren't always enough. But adding Lipitor can help lower your total cholesterol 29 to 45 percent. Lipitor is not for everyone, including people with liver problems and women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Simple blood tests are needed to check for liver problems. Tell your doctor about other medications you are taking or if you experience muscle pain or weakness, as they may be a sign of a serious side effect. So take the next step. Ask your doctor if Lipitor is right for you.
Relax with Airwick's new relaxation scented oil. The adjustable air freshener that will enhance any room in your home. With select essential oils like lavender and chamomile, it will give your home a special atmosphere of extraordinary well-being. Relaxation scented oil by Airwick. Also available in revitalization. Hey, what is it? I realize I love you. But as long as you're with Jessica, there can never be anything between Listen, us. Listen, Cassie, there's no need to cry. Besides, I've got really great news. You're leaving Jessica? No. I just saved a load of money on my car insurance by switching to Geico. I saved. I thought that meant something to you. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Oh, oh, my back. Need some help? Yeah. Try my Bayer Back and Body. Thanks, hon. It's Bayer Aspirin plus a special pain relief booster. It works right where it hurts. <sighs> Bayer Back and Body. Get moving again. Pain free. Flossing? <sighs> it's a hassle. Introducing Reach Access Daily Flosser. It's got a handle. <laughs> it's easy. This will make me floss. Reach Access Daily Flosser. Flossing you can handle. And now, Reach Access comes with power. Introducing the remarkable new Sara Lee Delightful Wheat. With 9 grams of carbs and only 45 calories in every full-size slice. Here you go, honey. And full-size Sara Lee taste, too. After this, Who knows what's possible? New Sara Lee Delightful Wheat and Delightful White. Finally, there's a bread that has it all. Allison, you're putting in enough hours at the hospital, isn't it? Okay, Chris, I hate to tell you, but making beds, it isn't that much. Look, don't kid yourself, okay? You, you're dealing with people all day long. Patients, nurses, doctors. Okay, you, you need to be flexible, Organized, patient. I am. And if you're up half the night working at Metro, you, you're going to be exhausted, okay? And then, and then before you know it, you, you show up to work late, you could lose your temper, you could end up losing your job here. Okay, you know, so then I can work at Metro full time. No. Look, Allie, you have a really good thing going here. All right, with, with your mom and my dad on staff and me on track for pediatrics. You could go as far as you want. All right, so, so if you're tired of making beds, take some classes, get your nursing no, degree. No, I don't want to go back to school. I hate school, Chris. <laughs> Allie, you hated high school. Who didn't? College, grad school, it's a whole different thing. Okay, right, but the point right now is that we're trying to save money so that we can get an apartment and get out of your parents' house. Yes, yes, and I'm doing that. Yes, but Chris, I want to help. I don't want to feel like I'm a guest when I when we move I I want to give you half of the money for the down payment half the money for the utilities all of that look th this isn't about the money so then what I don't like the idea of you working at Metro yeah but Chris if the tips are really good then I could be making twice as much as I'm working here in half the time look Allie if you want to pick up some extra shifts here at the hospital that's okay so so this isn't about me working you, you don't want me working at Metro? Yes. You don't want me spending time with Aaron? That's it? You're not even gonna finish it? Maybe later. You're worried about Mom. No, I'm not. I'm not worried about Mom. I just talked to her and she's fine. There's nothing to worry about, nothing. She said she was going to be back for dessert. She still's not here. Well, that's because something came up. Something unexpected. Do you remember that foundation that we told you she was working for? For Rose? That's right. That's what it was. Hey, come on. It's what it was. So don't you worry, okay? When Mom gets home, I'll tell her, tell her to come up and give you a kiss goodnight, and then everything's going to be fine, okay? Okay. Just don't let it melt. You got it. Get out of here. It's late. I know it. I 
just, I just wanted to know how Lily's trip to Chicago went. Uh, sounds like everything went fine. She got a big fat contribution and more leads on where to get more. Oh, good. Well, oh, that's my girl. I want, I'd like to hear that from the horse's mouth. Lily, darling, I'm here. Lucinda, she's not here. I know that it's late, but I just talked to her and she said she wouldn't be much longer. Did you believe her? Yeah, of course I believed her. Oh, that's a, that's a relief. You know, darling, I've been thinking we really have got to try to trust Lily more. Both of us. I do. And it's very difficult to do that because she's made so many obstacles. But I felt something new when she was singing at the benefit. I, f I felt for the first time that it was really Lily doing it. Lily, with her old character and confidence and, and spark. And I think we've reached a turning well, point. I, I, I'm beginning to see that, too. <sighs> it's been a hell of a siege. But I think... <sighs> She's coming back to us. I feel it. I, I don't think the kids feel it yet. The minute that she was going to be late, I sensed that Luke thought that she wasn't coming home at all. Well, then you must do whatever you can to allay those kids' fears. Because if she senses that any of us think that she might fail, then she could have a relapse. And we can't let that happen. You're right. We won't let that happen. Good. We won't. All right, I'm going to home, go home myself. And when she comes home, you put your arms around her and you kiss her and you kiss her for all of us. For me, too. And tell her I'll call, I'll, I'll call her in the morning. Hold it. Oh, my darling. Has it come to this? You better eat it fast before it melts. <laughs> Still not impressed? Look, Bob. I realize that Doc Coleman is a hero to every guy in this room. But when Kim asked me to host this party, I did my research, and the guy is problematic. That's nice and vague. Google him yourself. It's all there. OK, he's been married twice. Both marriages ended badly. He's been just this side of the law several times. He's a permanent fixture in nightclubs, casinos, racetracks. The guy is a womanizer and a hard drinker. Sounds like an interesting guy to have around. Oh, come on. Do you want to work with him? No. He's trouble. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so, where's the football hero? Over there entertaining the fellas. Oh, hey, that's my job. Oh, my God. What? That man is gorgeous. That's still kind of stuff from what you're saying. She offered Carly a job? I think it was more along the lines of a partnership. What? Odds are Carly won't take it. Why would my mother... I mean, she hates Carly. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> did you ask her? What did she say? Well, I made it clear to your mother some time ago when, when I first met Carly. You were there and your mother blew a gasket. Well, that's what I mean. I mean, why would she even... Well, if you remember, I made a point of telling your mother that I didn't want to get in the middle of anything personal, so I can hardly pry into her motives after that. But, okay, forget Carly. Why would she want to share the collection with anyone? Why don't you ask her, Jen? Maybe she'll tell you. Okay, I will. And you know what? I'm gonna talk to Carly, too. I just don't get it. Why do you suddenly want me working at BRO? Because I need your help. I'm gonna need more than that. There's someone working there who's of interest to me. Does this person have a name? Jordan Sinclair. We don't know if Carly's even considering the offer or what Barbara said to her. But didn't you say that she offered her a partnership? Yes, but what are the terms? Is it a limited partnership? For how long? One season, two seasons, or is it open-ended? Is it contingent on sales? Mm -hmm. I just think you're better off approaching your mother about it first. You wouldn't want to say the wrong thing and screw up the negotiations. Oh, you're right. I guess I'm just afraid that my mother won't tell me the truth. Just try to keep the focus on why she thinks she needs the help. Okay, just talk to her. I will. And in the meantime, there's nothing you can do about it tonight. So lighten up? <laughs> I just want you to have some fun. Besides, didn't your Aunt Kim say that we were supposed to do whatever it takes to convince Doc Reese to stay in town? <laughs> well, short of dancing on the table, I don't know what I could do to get his attention. Jennifer, all you have to do is walk across a room. You know, it's a good thing Tom didn't see your jaw drop to the floor like that. 
Tom loves stock race more than I do. It's just that, you know, I've just never seen him without the helmet and the pads and the clothes and the... Well, now there's an idea. <laughs> what? Coleman Reese as God made him, huh? Margo Hughes! Oh, come on, tell me that you wouldn't pay extra for a front row seat. I happen to be a happily married woman. Well, I happen that as well. I'm happy as a clam. I'm just not dead. <laughs> and that man is a living, breathing, God-given gift to any woman on this planet. And you can't argue with that. I won't let you. I've got a football. Yeah, what you just uh, happened to bring uh, it. You course. made me leave it in the car. I'll yeah. tell you what. Bring it on, son. And uh, grab me a felt-tipped pen. Yes, sir. Oh, very oh, nice. Oh, very nice. sir. Ooh, that's the first right uh, there. Uh, you got a great boy there. Yeah, Don, he's yeah. a great guy. Please, Ted, let, just let me buy you a drink at least. J.D., straight up. You got it. Coming up on As the World Turns. About Jordan, um, I need to get as close to him as I can as soon as possible. I got a confession to make. Mm -hmm. I adore redheads. Including married redheads? Even better. <sighs> Ow. There's an easier way to freshen the whole room. Blade Plug-In Scented Oil Fan. The first air freshener that uses an ultra-quiet fan to actively circulate your favorite fragrance throughout the entire room. There. Isn't that better? Glade Plug-In Scented Oil Fan. Freshness with a spin. Plug it in, plug it in. S.E. Johnson, a family company. I've spent years styling hair for magazines and often had to make dry, frizzy hair into either soft curls or smooth, straight hair instantly. Watch this. Apply Frizzy's Hair Serum to soaking wet hair and smooth through. Whether your hair is dried naturally or blow-dried straight, the results are amazing. Frizzy's Hair Serum. It's fast, it's easy, and it makes a big difference. My headaches have always been a pain in the neck. Not just a pain in the neck, I mean a headache. With pain in the neck and shoulders. That's why now, I take Excedrin Tension Headache. Because that's exactly what it relieves. Tension headaches with stiffness in your neck and shoulders. And Excedrin, hmm, relieves them fast, too. I mean, why let tension headaches be a pain in the neck? Excedrin Tension Headache. The headache medicine. They say to play the blues, you have to understand pain. Oh, she hurts me so bad. Diabetes can be very painful. Sticking my fingers, checking my blood sugar. It don't have to hurry. Less pain, less blood. On your fingers or your arm. One Touch Ultra. Results in five seconds. I can feel it way down in my shoe. To play the blues, you want to feel it here, not here. One Touch Ultra. Yeah. Cream savers. All the creamy, dreamy taste you love. But with zero sugar carbs. Sugar free cream savers. The leading cleaner can't remove this tough stain like Spot Shot. With Spot Shot, tough stains disappear fast without scrubbing. When Resolve won't work, get Spot Shot. CBS Tonight. Get ready for the two and a half men upon. Hey, Uncle Charlie, show Mom how I mop the floor with my hair. Well, it's not really mopping, it's more like dusting. Catch four back to back episodes of TV's number one new comedy. Gotta run to the grocery store. I'm gonna need somebody to fold these clothes. I don't know if the grocery store is the first place I'd go for that, but good luck. Two and a half men. What am I gonna do all day? It's really nice outside. Why don't you wash my car? The two and a half men upon. Tonight, starting at 8, 7 Central, and catch Billy Crystal on a new late show. Today in Living It Up with Allie and Jack, surfer fashion isn't just for the beach. It's gone mainstream, and we'll show you the latest trends. Plus, we'll show you how easy it is to create your own Hawaiian luau. And we have great recipe ideas for your Easter leftovers. That and a whole lot more, so stay with us. 9 WLIT for today's soft rock and less talk. The light, number one at work. 
Turn on the light. 93.9 WLIT. A person can't really understand what it's like to be overweight unless they've been overweight. I was 77 pounds overweight. I was miserable. With LA Weight Loss, it was exciting. I lost weight each week. I lost dress sizes left and right. Within 36 weeks, I went from a size 18 all the way down to a size 8. I decided to join the company because they changed my life, and I wanted to help other people change their lives, too. LA Weight Loss Centers. Call for your free consultation. 1-800-526-SLIM. 93.9 WLIT for today's soft rock and less talk. Soak up the, sun. the light, number one at work. I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell. Turn on the light, 93.9 WLIT. Paul McCartney's wife without her leg and Dr. Phil next ET. Simon Baker stars in The Guardian, Tuesdays on CBS. It's all here. Hey, hey hi. I'm sorry I didn't get back to you after we talked. It's just that I wanted to wait five minutes, and then five minutes turned into another five minutes, and then a half an hour, another half an hour. I should have kept track That's of the time. That's okay. I, I was just a little concerned. About what? Well, that maybe you had car trouble or problems oh. on the interstate or something. Uh-huh. Lee, I'm not worried about you having another episode or something like that. I know that you turned the corner. I was worried, and, and I, I missed you, and I was hoping that maybe we could spend a little time together. Oh, I would like that very much, spend some time together. How the kids? Sound asleep. Oh, okay. Oh, we have that movie th that we rented. We could make some more popcorn. Well, tell me about the <laughs> meeting first. I, I couldn't hear you on the phone because it was just so noisy. Oh, yeah, it was. You know, well, you know how those things go. It was... Good, and then I was so happy that I got a line on some other donors, and then afterwards... Did something happen? Yeah, something happened. Something totally unexpected. Admit it. I mean, this isn't about me going back to school or you buying us that apartment. This is about Aaron Snyder. Aaron is a factor, yes. Oh, come on, Chris. Aaron is just a friend. Look, I know that, Allie, but the two of you... That was one time, once, and that was an accident. That's never going to happen again. Allie, that's not what I meant. Okay, I, I like Aaron. I think that he's a good guy. But for whatever reason, when the two of you get together, you wind up in trouble. Okay, so then this is about you not trusting me? No, this is about knowing you and not wanting you to get hurt. And how am I going to get hurt in a restaurant? <laughs> well, the last time you were in a restaurant, you almost drowned your supervisor. Okay, well, she had it coming. Yeah, well, I'm sure she did. And I did that all by myself. You cannot blame Aaron for that. No, but I can blame him for setting you up with Clark Watson and almost getting you killed. Okay, so there have been times. Several times. That Aaron and I, that... We've done things that we thought were good at the time, but then... Look, I just... I don't want to see you get hurt, okay? And if you're out working with Aaron, what I want is for you and I to have a little time. Peaceful time. Okay? So, so we can enjoy each other, so we can go out on dates, you know, dinner and a movie and just be a normal couple. That's what it's really all about. So we can be happy. So if you want to pick up some extra shifts here at the hospital, be my guest. But no Metro. All right, I, I would spend half my time worrying about you, and that's no good for either of us. Yeah, but I could make so much more money. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, this is not about money. This is about us. It's about you and me. Uh, I almost forgot my, my mother is throwing this party over at Lakeview, um, for this sportscaster guy that she's trying to lure to Oakdale. And, and she's expecting you to be there? Both of us. I, I'm on call, but we could jump over there, get a quick bite to eat, say hey to the guy. Hi, uh, you go. I have to go over to Metro and tell them that I can't work there. Look, I know you're disappointed, but this is what's best for both of us. Listen. 
Jordan Sinclair? You met him? Yeah, just once. I ran into him, literally. At the Lakeview, he seemed decent enough. Mm. What's your interest? Well, I barely know him myself. He's my neighbor at the Lakeview. Oh. And, and you want me to cozy up to somebody that neither one of us really knows? Why? If I tell you, you have to promise me to keep it a secret. You cannot tell anyone, not even Jack. No one can know. I don't keep secrets from Jack. It's not about your family. It's not about anything illegal. Rosanna, I don't keep secrets from Jack. This is about me. This is about my life and my personal business. But you want my help? Concerning something that has nothing to do with you or Jack. It's just one sister confiding in another. <sighs> All right. All right, if you swear that this has nothing to do with anything but your own private business, then I... I won't tell him. I won't tell Jack. Thank you. So... About Jordan, um... I... I... I need to get as close to him as I can as soon as possible. What does that mean? It means exactly what it sounds like. Ooh. Well, no, no wonder you wanted your divorce so quickly. And Craig has agreed to my terms, so Jordan is the next step. Next step? I offered him a job at Cabot Motors. He turned me down. So for the time being, he's going to be working at BRO, where Jennifer Munson has taken quite an interest in him. So. That's where you come in. If you're working at VRO, you're going to be able to keep an eye on her. Let me know if she's making any progress. You, you want me to spy on Jennifer Munson? It would be extremely inconvenient if she and Jordan were to get together right now. Rosanna. This has something to do with why you disappeared, doesn't it? It has something to do with why you hired that professional thief to rob your house, Come on. doesn't it? You could say that. Well, Jack... Jack arrested that guy, that, uh... The Degrassi guy, you know. Yes, and the charges were dropped. The, the, the point is, you want me to keep your secrets, but if Degrassi is involved... Oh, come on, he, Degrassi played his part, and now it's over. My interest and yours is simply Jordan Sinclair. If you want my help, you're going to have to tell me why this guy is so important to you. She was a beauty, but her nose needed help. Allergies. Was so much out there that could get a nose in trouble. It was a case for Flonase. Only Flonase is approved to treat nasal symptoms from indoor and outdoor allergies, as well as year-round non-allergic nasal symptoms that can feel like allergies. No kidding. For best results, use daily. Side effects are generally mild and may include headache, nosebleed, and sore throat. Whether it's the usual allergy suspects or environmental offenders, talk to your doctor. All it takes is Flonase. From Monistat comes the One Dose Ovule, a soft gel insert that's part of the Monistat One Combination Pack, which means relief starts faster. That One Dose pill can take up to 24 hours. Fast relief means Monistat. Clear Complexion Makeup helps heal blemishes daily. New from Alme. In my line of work, pain was part of the job. But heartburn pain was part of my life until I got help from Prevacid. I'm a pretty tough guy, but that fireball would hit me more often than linebackers. I was in great shape. I changed my diet. I had enough chalky tabs to line a field with. Still, the heartburn came back. My trainer and I thought it might be serious, so I finally took a time out to see my doctor. He broke it down like this. One, I had acid reflux disease. Two, 
Acid causes pain and can lead to damage. And three, he prescribed Prevacid because it helps prevent acid. Heartburn pain and damage is caused by acid backing up into the esophagus. But one Prevacid once a day helps prevent the acid, stops the pain, and allows your body to heal. Now I'm retired, and with Prevacid daily, my heartburn is too. Prescription Prevacid has a low occurrence of side effects such as diarrhea, abdominal pain, and nausea. Other serious stomach conditions may still exist. Ask your doctor for more information and if Prevacid is right for you. Help prevent the acid with Prevacid. Is taste just a temptation? Is flavor just a fantasy? Introducing Carb Options. Irresistible new assortment of sauces, dressings, and spreads for anyone counting carbs. From names you can count on, we know how you like it. New carb options, taste you can count on. When there's a full moon over Miami, the strangest things happen. Oh! They call 911. In other words, our victim called in his own murder. CSI Miami, CBS Tonight. A survivor makes a heartfelt sacrifice. That was really big. Was it an act of kindness or kind of conniving? <laughs> and a grueling challenge. One reward, oh one immunity. But when it's over, everyone will be fighting for their survivor life. We got some scrambling going on in Panama today. A new Survivor episode, CBS Thursday. That sounds a little mysterious. Are you sure that you're okay? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. It just seems like maybe it was a lot. Driving to Chicago and back, meeting with all those people from the foundation, maybe it got you a little unsettled. No. I love talking about the foundation. It's positive. I just... I didn't expect people to be so generous. You know, Metro, the other night, just showering us with all kinds of money. So they gave you a bundle? Yeah, more than that. Well, that's great. <laughs> then we should celebrate. Yeah. Oh, you know, I meant to turn that ringer off. I'll take care of it. I'll get it. And just why don't you go check the kids, make sure they're really sleeping. OK. OK? Mm -hmm. Violet? Who's this? Chick Marino, the Windy City Cafe. Is this Violet Palmer? Yes. Yes, it is. Doesn't that <laughs> up? What? What doesn't? Why he'd leave the Twin Cities to come to a small town like Oakdale? I mean, Kim's can't pay him what he's used to being paid, and he's going to lose half his audience. Well, it does seem odd, but, you know, who knows? I mean, workplace politics being what they are and everything. Oh, for goodness sake, they just won't leave you alone tonight. Oh, yeah, downside of being fabulous. <laughs> oh, come on, Joe Montana, it's gotta be. Oh, no, 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 I don't know about all that. Oh, doc, stop. Doc, 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 what do you think? <laughs> no, what do you think? Gentlemen, I gotta go make a phone call, but I shall return. Right. Yo, it's Joe Montana. I got it. And the, the pen. <laughs> and I've got a million questions. <sighs> got a million, huh? He say how long he'd be? No, just said he had to make a phone call. Great, just my luck. I gotta get back to the hospital. Hey, hey, don't worry. You are not gonna miss Doc Reese. In fact, we're already selling him on all the great things about this town. Mm -hmm. Great, great. That's good stuff. I gotta go. Uh, listen, before you go, uh, Allison's all squared away? Well, yeah, now that the suspension's been lifted, everything's... Good, so she's back at work? Actually, she'd already found another job, but I talked her out of it. Ah, oh, well, I don't know, gentlemen. How long do you think it's going to take my little brother to realize that it's not always a good idea to work that closely with the love of your life? Hey, <laughs> but again, he's young. And late for work. And he feels sorry for all the men who feel that they need to be away from the woman that they love. Ah. Oh, <laughs> yes, he is young. <laughs> Aaron? Huh? They forgot their change. Oh, no, no, no. That's mine. All of them? All of it. Check this out, Allie. That's all just tonight. That's like 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. and look, the night's not even over yet. Check it. This whole place is packed. Yeah, and it was like this last time I was here. It's been like this for the last couple of weeks. It's about time I think Metro finally caught on. No, yeah, well, it's a great place, and there's no place like this in town. Allie, you're going to be making so much money here. I'm telling you. About that? Yeah, it's going to be so much fun, too. Oh, my God. That's so much fun. 
truth is, it's like a party here all the time. It doesn't feel like you're working. And it would be great. Yeah, it would be really great. And Chris could stop by after work, you know? I wouldn't count on it. Well, is he upset that you... He's probably upset you're working a lot of hours, right? No, that's, that's not really the issue. I know, I know. It's the money thing with the con, though. I understand. Look, just tell him that I won't bald you. I mean, not any guarantees, but... You know, the way business has been and the weather, I guarantee you're going to be making more than you think. Maybe sooner you're going to have a... You probably have an apartment a lot quicker than you think. Yeah? Yeah. So, uh... Why are you here? Why I stopped by, um... Because... I wanted to tell you that I can start working tomorrow night. I'm Janet, by the way. How old are you? 13. Me too. There's something unusual about Jenna Rink. Can you get in the car? I don't get in the car with strangers. Just get in the car. And if she's acting like a kid... Yesterday was my 13th birthday. And today, I'm this. <laughs> That's because she is. Mr. Hottie is totally scamming on you. Should I go talk to him? I think you're really cute. So do you want to go out sometime? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take, take off now. Catch a special sneak preview this Saturday night. 13 going on 30. Rated PG-13. Opens April 23rd. <laughs> With the wholesome goodness of granola and the great taste of chocolate, everybody can agree on kudos. Now everybody's happy. Take care of your future now with Bayer Women's Aspirin Plus Calcium. Calcium for your bones, aspirin for your heart. Heart disease is the number one killer of women. Be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen and ask about Bayer Women's. Shoppers, come meet the Quilted Northern Quilters in aisle six with their new Quilted Northern Bath Tissue. Oh, thank you. Oh, hi. I love your work. You really can see and feel the difference. Wow, everyone is excited about our softest bat tissue ever. Only New Quilted Northern has a top sheet with new improved quilting for extra softness and a second layer that's velvety soft. You're even cuter in person. <laughs> new Quilted Northern. It's all in the quilting. If you have stains like these, rust stains, lime scale buildup, or calcium deposits, you need Lime Away Lime and Rust Remover because it works better than even the leading lime scale and rust remover. In lab tests on rust stains, it's clear that Lime Away is tougher. Even after a thousand strokes, the CLR side is still incredibly stained. And Lime Away's thick formula coats surfaces for powerful cleaning action. All around your house, Lime Away is the expert lime and rust cleaner. So remember, for lime, calcium, and rust, Lime Away is a must. When life starts to take a toll on you and your hair, you need an Oasis. Introducing new Nourishing Oasis shampoos and conditioners from Alberto V05 with invigorating fragrances that are activated by the heat of your shower and nourishing conditioners that leave your hair and spirit restored and ready for more. New Nourishing Oasis, an oasis for your hair. You made what we did a lie. Danny committed political suicide. I don't want anybody else to pay for anything I've done. And that's just the beginning. I can't go back into the mob and expect Michelle to just stand by me. Well, then you might have to consider letting her walk. If you let anything happen to my wife or my son, you'll pay. Guiding Light on CBS, the number one daytime network. How did you get my number? You left your cell phone. You must have dropped it when you spilled all that stuff out of your bag. I would have called you right away, but it got a little crazy here. That girl who was on before you came back with half a bag on, wanted to sing Moon River about 15 times. Anyway, when I got a minute, I scrolled down, found the speed dial called home, and there you go. I'm glad you tracked me down. Not a problem. I just wish you'd had time to give us a tune. I got a feeling about you. Something tells me you can sing. I feel good when I sing. See? I told you. But what are you going to do? Que sera, sera. You want to give me an address I can send the phone? You know what? Why don't you uh, hold on to the phone? I'll pick it up myself. Okay. Bye-bye. All right, now you played in the era of great quarterbacks. Who, in your opinion, is the best of the best? Well, Dan Marino was a great passer. But, but you got to understand something, kid. Quarterbacks get their signals from the sidelines. When you're on defense, you got to think on your feet. It's all you out there. 
Well, what about you? Watch out for a pass. What? Yeah, you heard me. In here? Come on, you want to be a football player, don't you? Yes, sir. Then show me what you got. Come on. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Now, I thought that you played defense, Mr. Reese. Now, is that fair? Hmm? You know my name, but I don't know yours. But call me Doc. Margo. Margo. Great name. Stylish, smart, classy. Whoa, you just don't waste any time, do you? I got a confession to make. Mm -hmm. I adore redheads. Do you? Um, is that including married redheads? Even better. Stop worrying. I'm not. Yeah, what's going on with the furrowed brow, then? <laughs> no, really, I I've thought about it. Carly's not going to take the job. Why not? Because her sister would have a fit. Rosanna. Yeah, she hates Paul, you know that, and she has a good reason after what he did to her, but I don't think that she's ever going to be able to forgive him. But does she hate him enough to keep her sister from taking the job? I heard that she offered to bankroll Carly on her own venture. So it's not like she's actually asking her to give up her career. She would use her money to keep Carly away from BRO. <laughs> sure. I mean, unless she wants Carly at BRO. I can't think of any reason why she would. Sorry. Sage has this new game where she pushes her teddy bear through the rungs of her crib and then hollers for me to come and pick it up. She does it about 1,800 times a day. My niece is brilliant. <laughs> Listen, I know that you've been really busy since you got back, and I wasn't sure if, if spending time with Sage would make you miss Cabot even more. I just, I'm so worried about him. He must not understand what happened. He must think that I died or that I, I left him, you know? Sweet, don't, sorry. It's okay if you hug me, I'll fall apart and I really, I have to be able to function right now. I really have no idea how you're managing. It's fine, life goes on. I'd love to see Sage, I really would. I, I do miss her. You can trust me. I do, I do, I do trust you. And I promise you, I will tell you everything as soon as I possibly can, but not now. It wouldn't be good for you, it wouldn't be good for me. And I'm sorry. I promise, Jack. I know, I understand, I respect that. If Craig hadn't lied to me, then perhaps we'd still be married, and I'd still have Kevin. I uh, can tell you for sure that my plans are good. I'm not trying to hurt Paul. I'm not trying to hurt Craig. Or Jordan. No, no, not Jordan, especially not Jordan, okay? I'm just trying to make things right so that I can be happy, so that we can all be happy. You know that's what I want for you. Then please, please help me. I'm begging you. Look, I promise I will tell you as soon as I possibly can. You just have to trust me for a little while longer. Take the job at BRO. You won't regret it. Please. My whole life depends on it. Okay. Okay. I promise you, I promise you, everything's gonna be okay. On the next as of all turns. I think I'm in love. I knew that stupid story about the threatening ex-boyfriend was a bunch of bull, come on. Where, do we, where, where, where are we going? We're gonna go find Russell Terry and tell him the game is over. Come up to me, Mike. Watch as this cut is being protected invisibly by Liquid Bandage from Band-Aid Brand. Its Dermabond Hospital technology forms a waterproof, germ-proof seal, so you heal fast with one application. Come on, Dad! Hey, wait up! Band-Aid.